Hey, good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to another session of my sketching play lab. And today we are going to try drill 45. And I hope you are all very well wherever you are and you are still um, doing many creative stuff at home and you are still you know, having a good time. And it's uh, really a luxury for some of us to um, suddenly have so much time to do the things that we love and today we are going to uh, play yeah so you must have heard about my very new initiative called the sketching play lab and I think by now if you have seen my work or many person play it's a huge uh, and big thing for me um, I think you know we shouldn't stop playing especially when we um, are growing older and let me just <coughs> show you why this is so relevant this is from a newspaper clipping um, that I read recently it's it is entitled it is skills that will count in the post pandemic world of work and what are the 10 essential skills well number one is data literacy Two is critical thinking and we're going to skip along four is adaptability and flexibility fifth is creativity and innovation six emotional intelligence seven cultural intelligence eight is leadership skills nine judgment and complex decision making and lastly ten is collaboration and teamwork skills now, if you ask yourselves how many of these critical skills can be found in sketching, creative pursuits, plenty. Definitely critical thinking. Definitely adaptability and flexibility. Creativity and innovation, so important in <clears throat> the workplace. Um, judgment and complex decision making. So you can see how, you know, learning how to draw or any of the creative pursuits that you have are going, it's going to really help us, you know, engage the world after this whole virus situation is over. All right. So just to recap, we play, right, to learn how to negotiate. Negotiate what? Obstacles. So like going to a playground, you often find that, you know, children will have to um, navigate obstacles um, to then overcome a barrier, to climb higher, faster. So it's a lot of looking at, you know, um, not just obstacles, limitations. Right. And um, as we play, hopefully it's going to increase our curiosity. Right, going to make you hopefully more observant, all right, so that you are looking more closely at the environment around you. Okay, um, when we are playing, we are also learning how to innovate. Right, has to do with. Um, the first point overcoming obstacles so you have to find you know very clever ways to climb over get under around a obstacle a barrier and as a result of it hopefully you will be exploring All right so that's one key aspect of learning to play all right and with uh, innovation you're looking also for alternatives right and it has to do with you know am i flexible in my thinking so this is what the play will teach you um big one when you play you will fall and there will be failures and that's what children you know encounter at the playground but you know they get up and then they keep going and this ability to pick yourself up over and over again you know it's 
uh, what we call resilience. So I hope you know as we um, sketch and play later on, you see us you know hopefully making uh, happy accidents and getting up and trying it again. If because sometimes it may not work, or a lot of times it may not work, and hopefully as you play, you are learning how to be in awe, and you are ready to be surprised. And I think this um, pandemic showing us that some of us are struggling to cope because the surprises, uh, the new uh, things coming our way um, is, is rattling us and we are <coughs> having to face it face on. So hopefully as you learn how to play, you're also learning how to look uh, in and around and under this um, situation and whatever obstacle and see um, if you can ask yourself what is one thing that I can do today all right um, so hopefully as you think about play okay um, you also give yourself uh, the permission to like in a laboratory to experiment and there are many ways to play like you go to a playground you can play the same um, same play equipment but you find that each time you play you may uh, find a different way of engaging with it so um, we are hopefully through play going to learn how to um, experiment and explore and i hope you have uh, more ideas and um, uh, that you can share with me why you play and i must 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 remind you one last thing okay we play for pure Oops, enjoyment. And that's one key reason. Pure enjoyment. Alright, we play uh, not to get anywhere sometimes. We play not to be richer. Maybe richer inside. Um, sometimes we play just because we want to have a good time. Alright, so let's come into today's drill, which is... Drill 45. All right, um, it's called Paul and Drip. So, remember, I just mentioned about innovation limitation. Now, what if today you do not have any of the painting tools, drawing tools that you usually have and you still want to ex explore, play and make something fun alright, so what if all these are removed? can you still sketch and paint? absolutely! so I'll give you like 30 seconds to think about what if you don't have a brush, a pencil can you still sketch and paint? and your time starts now, think about it I hope you have uh, some ideas in your head. Perhaps a good suggestion is look around you. What is around you that you can use so that you can turn it into a, a new sketching tool? And I'm going to show you what I have. I have a sea sponge. I have a little bamboo stick sharpened at the end. I have a few dropper or pipette. I have a clip, I have a piece of paper, and of course I have paint. They are really strange looking tools, but do you think you can innovate, create alternatives, experiment with all these tools? I think so, and I hope I've given you some ideas. Alright, so Today we are going to use um, OZ Red Gold, one of my new favourite colour and in the throne blue so we'll be using these two blues okay, to paint so today we don't have a brush so let's start okay so let's just get some of the paint on my palette so we've got the blue so I'm just going to be a bit generous today and then Let's put in some Aussie Red Gold. Yay. 
and place the towel nearby just in case I think there will be accidents let's think about the clip think about paper now this is my new tool pipette ready so I hope you know why we use a pipette so let's transfer some water okay you can either use a sponge I'm sure you can run to your sink and get a regular sponge or you can use your pipette and you know pick up some water so let's make a nice watercolors solution so just mix it up so, the one, so one key thing about you know <clears throat> using unusual tool is that it's going to trigger you to dig deeper and think further so that we are not just accustomed to what we are um, familiar with so adaptation sets in when we are uh, so used to what we're doing day in day out that we just keep repeating what we're familiar with and not go further all right so let me mix it up it's a little bit like a cooking show isn't it okay so i think i've got two colors now and well let's wet the paper as well so i'm sure now you can see how many ways we can wet the paper we can get the water on paper by using the dropper or we can use the sea sponge and then cannot move the water around but not everywhere okay and the magic happens when we pick up some liquid and you can see how you can still paint even without the regular brush you can think about how you can create interesting lines you can see that Aussie Rego is starting to granulate as well it's a bit gritty but love it okay how about the stick yay and you can play with the edge side of the stick as well and you can certainly tip the page a little bit so that the color will start to dance and run I'll just create a few more marks here for you. How about this? What do you think? Yes, you can dip. Let me zoom in a little bit so you can see. Pick up some colour. Yep. There you go. Oops. Accident, accident. That's all good. Some water. You can see how the colours are flowing to each other very beautifully and I hope you are starting to see possibilities of how this can be a really playful um, acti activity for you to kind of get to know what you have around you now Let's see if we can transfer what we've just learned to see if we can apply to <clears throat> everyday sketching. So look at this bowl that I have. It's got beautiful, you know, um, details of flowers. So you can use the tools. And often I use this quite a lot to draw. Oh, I've got the tool that I like to use a lot. My spray. Yep, nice. So you can see I'm trying to describe some of these flowers. I 
of you getting the idea of how I play. Well, that's what I've done, that short few minutes. Hopefully this is going to inspire you to um, try it yourself. So remember, I've used your schedule like a play lab. I hope you will take some time to uh, think about what's around you that you can use as a way to kind of um, shake up your drawing, sketching, painting and look at the texture that you know I've created just using you know water paint and a few household tools and all the interesting textures coming out and um, hopefully you will be able to try it, you know sometime this week at home and let me know okay um, your experiments and till the next time we meet stay well take care